Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to show the progress of a task um, on the bottom part of the taskbar for your users with Electron. So it's really simple. It should only take about a minute to set up at max. So let's just get right into it. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is have some sort of progress. So I'm going to create a progress variable and set it equal to zero by default. And then I'm going to create some sort of interval to just kind of update the progress on its own. You obviously would want to update the progress based on actual progress going on, but I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to call it the progress interval. And I'm going to set it equal to a set interval. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this callback function. And we're going to run this every eh, 120 milliseconds, let's say. That sounds like a good amount. So what we're going to want to do then is actually increment our progress. So we're going to do progress plus equals, let's do 0.02. Now, the reason we're doing 0.02 is because the we want the value to stay between 0 and 1. Um, 0 being no progress, 1 being 100% complete. So the reason we're doing that is because to actually update the progress to show the little sliver of progress, we do main window dot set progress bar and we pass in a progress. By default, I'm just gonna pass in 0.5 to show you what'll happen. So if we pass in 0.5 and run our script, so we run npm start, by passing in 0.5, what you'll see is that this is constantly gonna stay at 0.5. It'll always be there, and that is how we do it. If we set it to one, for example, it'll be 100% complete. And if we pass in anything over one, like 10, we'll get this kind of flashing state, which is the indeterminate state, which is cool. And if we pass in anything below zero, so a negative number, we'll get a default state that looks just like we didn't even write this kind of thing. So what we're actually gonna pass in is our progress. And once we pass this in, we could be done, but what you'll notice is once our progress hits 100%, it'll keep running. So what we wanna do is we wanna check if progress is greater than or equal to one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, um, we are going to do main window dot set progress bar to negative one or any negative number because we wanna remove that flashing green color. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to clear this interval. So we're gonna clear the interval of progress and we're gonna do progress interval. So that way this function doesn't keep running. And then that is that. Now, the way I have the application set up right now, it's um, hidden by default. See how I minimize it right off the bat. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show the main window. This isn't obviously needed, but I'm just gonna show it so we know when it's done as well. So here, if we run this now, what you'll see is It'll update to, did I not, let's see, sorry about that. Oh, I put process plus equals, um, <laughs> oh two, it's progress. There we go, sorry about that. Okay, there we go. So if the progress is greater, okay, there we go. So yep, we're incrementing our progress by 0.02. Once it's done, it'll show the application and then we are good to go. When we close out of the application, we're all good. So if you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe. Also leave video suggestion and feedback in the comment section if you want me to cover something else. Doesn't have to be Electron related. Um, I'm possibly thinking about doing a Svelte tutorial in the future. So if you'd like to see that, maybe let me know uh, so I know you guys are on board. Anyway, thank you. Talk to you guys later. See ya.